So now we have learned about placenta previa. Now let's discuss about placental abruption. So what is meant by placental abruption? Abruption basically means that there is premature separation of a normally located placenta. If you remember this, you get all the points of abruption. One, there is premature separation. The separation normally happens during the labor. So no, this is happening before that, before the labor is there is premature separation. Second is of a normally located placenta. That means by this, we are ruling out placenta previa as well. So it's the premature separation of a normally located placenta. And which is the most common cause of antipartum hemorrhage? That is placental abruption. The incidence is 1 in 200. So, abruptio placentae is also known as accidental hemorrhage. Sometimes the question can give you accidental hemorrhage. Please understand that it is one and the same. So, basically in this, there is separation of the placenta from the placental bed. And once the separation happens, there is going to be breakage of the spiral arteries. I taught you about the placenta. If this is the basal layer, decidua basalis, we have the spiral arteries which are supplying here. So, once the placenta separates, there is going to be rupture of the spiral arteries and this is going to bleed into the bed of decidua basalis. So, this will lead to hematoma formation there. All right. So, there is rupture of spiral artery into decidua basalis. So, this is the most common cause of antipartum hemorrhage. Apart from that, abruption is the most common cause of DIC or conceptive coagulopathy as well. Conceptive coagulopathy as well. So, in abruption, there is more chance of complication to happen early, such as there is early fetal distress, there is early development of complications such as DIC. So, understand that the complications happen early in abruptio placentae. Now, let's see the types of placenta previa. So, the types can be either concealed or revealed. Either the blood can collect behind the placenta itself. This is known as concealed type of hemorrhage or it can bleed out. This is the revealed type of hemorrhage. So, in concealed, the problem is that blood is collecting, but it is not visible outside. So, sometimes it can be missed. Apart from this, the thromboplastin that collects here can be released into systemic circulation. So, this is the most dangerous type of abruption. So, which is more dangerous? Is it concealed, revealed or mixed? That is a combination of two. It is concealed is more dangerous. Concealed is more dangerous. 